Hi, my name is Sarah Cumming and I am the head of school at Promise Academy here in Tyler, Texas. I was on the founding team of the school and I've watched it grow from a small kindergarten to a full elementary school. We'll be adding fifth grade next year. Promise Academy began in 2015. Um, a group of local individuals, including parents and pastors and community leaders, believed that um, an exemplary Christian education should not just be available to a small group of people, but should be shared across the community. Our mission is to cultivate wise, creative, and compassionate leaders through exemplary Christ-centered education here in North Tyler. And we do that to bring joy to our city and to bring glory to God. To date, we have 61 students, and our goal next year is to be between 72 and 75. When we're at full enrollment, we will have between 90 and 95 students. We are the only Christian school uh, in 75702, the only Christian elementary school to serve this neighborhood in the last 80 years. Uh, we're located on West 32nd Street, and we share this neighborhood with other wonderful organizations, such as Tyler Day Nursery, the Glass Recreation Center, Texas College, and the Family Circle of Care. In a city that is still so divided by socioeconomics and ethnicity, Promise Academy really stands out as supported by a very diverse group of people. At Promise Academy, education is more than just information. It's about character formation. It is not as efficient to teach this way. Um, when we're trying to make connections um, between students and our community, between God and the things that we're studying, um, it takes time. Uh, one example of this is um, the first graders. They learn about um, plants and geology and the weather cycle. And so they plant a garden and they work all year tending this garden, planting and weeding, Together, they cleaned the produce. They gave it to the rest of the school uh, in the form of a beautiful salad. And we were able to send home bags of produce to the students' families. What a gift. When Promise Academy began, North Tyler held a population that was greatly impacted by poverty. 75702 held three times the poverty rate of the rest of Tyler. And significant concentrated need can um, impact communities and families, and it does matter. One way that we see that is it allows children to become very resilient, and we see community support structures growing very strong. Um, so families will rely on extended family, or in the case of a lot of our immigrant families, will rely on adopted family um, to help support them. So I've watched families participate in carpools, um, pool for tuition, and um, also just this beautiful openness that I've benefited from to give and receive help. But poverty can also create difficulty. Uh, one of the ways we see that is with food scarcity in our neighborhood. Um, there are two grocery stores on either side of our zip code. Um, and here in the middle where our neighborhood is, uh, the most accessible nourishment is not necessarily helping students grow as humans. So we have a donut store very close by and a convenience store. Another challenge is lack of expectation. So who do I believe Promise Academy students are? What do I expect them to become? Do I believe that they're trustworthy and that they're a blessing? If I believe those things, I'm going to educate them differently. I'm going to prepare them to lead because I believe that's who they are, that they will grow up to lead. So when school's in session, I see families at pick up and drop off, so twice a day. Um, I'm able to see them face to face. They can express need and concern to me. And now I see them every two weeks um, with homework, pick up and drop off. And I really have to rely on um, the outreach and support structures that we had to create out of this challenging time to address the needs that our families have. Um, so virtual community and leadership have definitely been a challenge. Coronavirus is also straining some of our families. For example, I can think of a mom um, who works in a non-essential medical office um, and a dad who works in the oil field, which is really suffering right now. And um, that family has not had any income from work in over a month. Um, 
We've also been challenged by sharing the educational load with our families. So where we are right now is 75% packet and 25% online work. Um, and here's the thing, we never would have switched to packets and all online, but now I've gotten to see my teachers grow. Um, they love their students so much and they're videoing themselves, reading books to their students. My third grade teacher gets up every morning, um, puts on his Promise Academy t-shirt, gets his phonics cards out and reads his phonics cards through so that his students can keep growing and learning in their reading. Um, I guess my greatest concerns are for our K through second grade students. I can send home a packet, for example, about telling time with a worksheet about a clock, but making sure that the transfer of understanding of how we use clocks in um, multiplication and how we um, use an analog clock for the rest of our lives um, to understand handwriting and all of these things, is that gonna transfer? But there's an upside too. So while kids are at home, I've gotten great stories and pictures that families have sent to me of um, children putting up tire swings with their families and learning bow hunting and learning how to kayak and spending great time with their grandparents, um, having wonderful life experiences. And our students are leaders still reaching into the community. Even this week, I delivered buckets of candy and um, thank you notes that the students had created at home to our local healthcare heroes. I was challenged as well um, during this time as a, as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus. You know, Easter fell right in the middle of this pandemic, and um, that's one of the great celebrations um, of the Christian community. And so I've been able to find um, thankfulness for a quiet and reflective celebration with my family, um, and realizing that the idea of resurrection was put in a new context for me. You know, as we're suffering, um, as I'm suffering, I can say, why is this happening? There's so many good things that I wish would be happening right now, but this is what's happening. And um, the lesson for me, you know, again, in a new way, is that new life can come out of suffering, that I don't have to run away from it, that I can endure it. Promise Academy families and students and staff um, is enduring this together too, and realizing um, that the future is gonna hold great wealth for us from what we've gained um, and learned from this experience.